Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button because I'm always coming out with new videos. It's never consistent, but I do come out with new videos. And today's one of those days, you guys, I've been thinking. So, there's these, if you don't know, there's these egg rolls that they sell at Magic Kingdom and in Animal Kingdom. And they're always different. Sometimes they're cheeseburgers, sometimes they're pepperoni and cheese, and they're always changing what kind of flavor there are, but they're always in egg roll form, and I absolutely love them, and, but I don't, I'm not going to go there every day to buy them, so guess what? We found a recipe, and we're going to make them today. We're gonna make cheeseburger egg rolls. I'm gonna make a couple of plain ones for Vinny and then I'm gonna add some onions to mine because I like onions in my cheeseburger. And let me tell you guys, this recipe is amazing. Let me tell you what you're gonna need. You're gonna need one pound of ground beef. You're gonna need a half a cup of mayonnaise. One teaspoon of Oh, I'm gonna mess up this name. War Worcester shower sauce. I don't know. I say this wrong all the time, but you guys see it. You're gonna need one teaspoon of that. And this, this is onion dip um, soup and dip mix. This is just mixed packets inside. You're gonna use one of these packets, but you're only gonna use, I have my little things here. You're only gonna use a tablespoon and a half of this mix packet. This one mix packet makes two pounds. One pound makes about, I don't know, like 10 egg rolls. I never counted how many it makes, but we will today, we will today. So you're gonna need some of this. This is like the main ingredient. This is what makes it taste like bomb, I'm telling you. Then you're gonna need one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. If you could hear the sirens, I'm sorry. I live next to the fire station. And you're gonna need one cup of cheese. Any cheese you like, uh, mild cheddar, sharp cheddar. I'm using the Mexican style four cheese mix because I like the mixture of the cheese. It gives it a little like tangy zang to it. Um, but any cheese you like, and I don't use one cup. I put one cup in it together and then I pour a little, I sprinkle a little bit on it when I'm rolling the, the egg rolls up. And then you're gonna need egg roll wraps. You can find this in the organic or vegan section in your stores and they go about for $3.99 and it comes with, it's one pound and I thought it tells me how many sheets it comes with, but I guess not, one pound. I don't know, but there's a lot of sheets in there. I never use the whole thing, and I always hate that because they go bad. Like, you can't freeze these and reuse them. I, I've tried that, and it just doesn't work. So I'll probably, like, tomorrow I'll save them, and I'll go buy some pepperonis, and I'll make pepperoni and cheese egg rolls. So maybe I'll just save them. I don't want to waste them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this meat here. I'm gonna lower, I have some oil already heating up here so we can fry the egg rolls. And the oil has to be like really hot because you wanna just throw them in there, let them cook until they're nice and like a golden color and take them right out. The meat is already cooked inside and you don't wanna overcook the outside of the egg roll because it's just gonna be burnt and it's not gonna taste good unless you like it then you could do that. So we're gonna throw this right into my pan here. And we are just gonna start cooking up and um, breaking up this ground beef that I have here. So I'm just gonna break it up and we're gonna cook this ground beef all together. And what we're gonna do, once this ground beef is all cooked and browned, we're gonna take the one and a half tablespoons of the onion mix, dip mix, and we're gonna take the tea, one teaspoon of the sauce, the Worcestershire sauce, and we're gonna mix that while the meat is on heat. 
after you mix that, you want to turn off the heat and you want to mix in the, you want to let it cool for a little while. I don't let it cool, but you want to let it cool for a little while if you like. And you add the mayonnaise and the cup of cheese. And then it says that you should let it sit for a while, but I just get it started after there. I just leave it there on the on the little stove here and I just get ready to put them together and fry them as I go. And these things, I've tried making them like in, in advance and freezing them and cooking them again. And I don't know, but the outside of it is just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It just is not, it's not the same as making it all the same day. So I feel like I only make these when I know I'm going to eat most of them or I'll fry them all. If you fry them all the next day, you can heat them up like in a little, you wrap them up in a paper towel and heat them up for like 30 seconds and they taste really good. So either way, we're not wasting any food. So I'm going to cook up this meat and let it brown and we'll be right back. All right. So we got the meat nice and brown. And over here, I started cooking up some of my onions so I could put it in the batch after I'm done making the plain ones. So we're going to lower this. And let's start our adding stuff. All right, so the first thing we're going to add, you guys, is the onion dip recipe so you're gonna take one tablespoon and a half so good you guys it gives it that oniony smell and taste to it perfect you want to mix that in once you mixed all of that in Go ahead and grab your sauce here. And you're gonna need one teaspoon of this right here, you guys. Oh, it's starting to smell good, you guys. It's smelling really good. Oh, and these onions are smelling even better. take the Dijon mustard and one tablespoon of this. Make sure you shake it. Don't be like me. tablespoon of the Dijon mustard coming right up. Mix that right up. All 
All right, so here's where it gets good. Let's turn off my onions. Let's heat up this, put up the heat on this oil. We're gonna turn off the heat for the meat. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a cheeseburger deluxe, you guys. This is like absolutely my favorite thing. I think it's even better than Disney, but you know what? That's just my opinion. Don't come for me. All right. So the heat's off and it's sitting. This is off, oil's on. We're gonna grab the mayonnaise a half a cup of mayonnaise you guys so i got my half a cup here and i'm just gonna fill this boom boom right in there and i'm gonna dump it in there Mayonnaise. I like Hellman's. Whatever you like is good. Whatever floats your boat. A half a cup. Blech. Dip it right in there. that's in there you want to take your cheese one full cup of cheese this is for my cheese lovers I know there's a lot of people that are lactose intolerant out there you can use a substitute of your kind you can fill these however you like or you can leave them without cheese without the mayonnaise you know but we like cheese so we're gonna do now, that there, a whole cup of cheese now, you guys. Whole cup of cheese, we're gonna dump that right there. And we're gonna mix it all up. Oh, just look at how beautiful that looks. It looks like a cheeseburger. If you guys are on the keto diet, this is like, amazing to eat on its own just this meat right here tastes just like a cheeseburger it's so good i don't know if these uh vegan egg roll wraps are keto approved but maybe maybe just look at how the cheese is all melting in there with its deliciousness All right, you guys, we're gonna move on to the next step. Let me pick up everything over here because the next step we're gonna need this area over here of the counter to make our egg rolls and uh, put them into the, the hot, nice boiling oil. So this is all nicely mixed. I'm gonna let this sit there. And I'm gonna clean up my little mess here and we'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and I made all of Vinny's plain cheeseburger rolls. So these are how the egg rolls look after they're fried and rolled, you guys. So this is the outcome you're gonna get, you guys. They're freaking delicious. And it only takes about a few seconds to fry them up and cook and eat, all right? So these are nice and done. So let's show you guys what I'm doing here. I added the onions to my meat already. Now you can add peppers, whatever you like to a cheeseburger, whatever you, you think, you know, get creative. Add whatever you like to this meat. It's freaking amazing. I have a little bit of cheese on the side here so I can double up on the cheese here. Let me put a little bit more. And I have a little bowl of water because this water is going to act like our glue 
to hold these uh, rolls together. So this is our egg roll wrap right here. We're gonna put it on an angle. Hope you guys can see that there. And I'm gonna take a nice scoop. You can make these however big or small you guys like. I like them, you know, like medium size, not too big, not too small. So you put a nice size of meat there. Take a little bit of the cheese. Now you're gonna take your index finger, your pointer finger, sorry, whatever finger you like. Tap a little bit of water, put it on the edges of your egg roll wrap here. You're gonna just put water all over the edges of this egg roll wrap. You can see this all over here. And then let me bring you guys a little bit closer so you can see this method I do here. We're gonna pick this up, be very gentle. This is very thin. Bring it over, you're gonna wrap it like a burrito. Bring it over, bring in the side. Bring in your other side. And then roll this in. To protect it a little bit more, you take a little bit of more water, put it right on here, and it seals right up. I made six plain, so let's see how many I can get out of this. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna make some more of these, and then we're gonna fry them up. I'll be right back. So we got the oil we finished wrapping the egg rolls so far I got to make six of the plain and seven of the one with onion so I got to make about 13 of these with one pound of meat so think of it like that you guys so let me move my little camera here and let's get to frying now this has been on and I've been frying a whole bunch of stuff here you know so that's some clean oil right there I don't know how hot it is but it's hot you guys <laughs> and this is gonna cook like in seconds and you want to move them around because sometimes they'll stay on one side and then you'll have a, like a like a pale side on one so you want to keep on moving them and keep an eye on them So I take the tongs and I start to move them around so they can evenly cook and get brown evenly. I usually only cook three at a time, but since I only had four left, I threw all four in there. And it's a little crowded in here, but it's all good you guys it's all good see how they keep on flipping back over when i flip them over 
So I'm trying to get the nice brownness on the other side of these. But they keep on flipping on me. Ugh. This one's now nice and brown. See, look at that nice brown color. Oh, you guys can't even see it. Oh, sorry, my light's not on. <laughs> the light's not so great, but it's something. Look at that. It's a nice brown color. Drain out the oil. I'll show you guys the color. Look at that. How beautiful is that? And I made some already. Put that right there. That's how fast these things cook, you guys. Seconds. Because everything inside is already cooked, you know? You're just cooking the outside egg roll part. If you want them a little bit crispier, you can always leave them in there a little bit longer. But this is like the perfect color. I like them. Let's turn off this oil. Oh, they smell so good, you guys. So good. And that's it. Let's move this over here so you guys can see. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? We have our egg rolls, you guys. Now I'm gonna try one of these that are nice and not too hot, the cold ones. Amazing, you guys. I already know these are good, but you gotta just see this deliciousness. So good. Cheeseburger egg rolls, you guys. Mm, amazing. So good. Now, you could always get, like, ketchup and mayonnaise and mix it up, like mayu ketchup, and dip that in there. So good. So good. If you want a dipping sauce. But I love them just like this. Amazing. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you would like the recipe to this um, cheeseburger egg rolls, I'll leave it down below in the description. And if you guys haven't already, go check out our new Patreon where we offer a monthly subscription box. And we offer a whole bunch of other perks for our subscribers. I'm sorry, this is so good, you guys. But as always, thank you for watching, you guys. Love ya.